All right, Matt, thank you very much. It's 6.54 this morning. Time now for the Sunrise Smart Start. Yeah, the NTSB will continue its investigation this morning into a limo crash that killed 20 people in the capital region. Police say the driver went through an intersection Saturday and through a parking lot before ending up in a ravine. Police have not confirmed what company operated that limo and the victim's names have not been officially released, but family members say the 17 passengers in the limo were part of a birthday party. Two Gates police officers are among the thousands of law enforcement across the nation who are in South Carolina today. That's because of a funeral for a fallen officer. 52-year-old Terrence Carraway was killed in the line of duty last week. Police say he and five other officers were shot while trying to serve a search warrant for a sexual assault investigation. A house in Irondequoy is salvageable after a fire. This was the scene around 7 last night on Charing Road, which is off of Pine Grove Avenue. Firefighters say the fire started in the basement. We're told two homeowners and their dog got out safely. The fire was quickly put out, but firefighters say there is smoke and some water damage on the first floor. A teenager is expected to be arraigned this week for shooting and killing another man. 17-year-old David Johnson is charged with murder and robbery. Police say he killed Anthony Lawson on Lyle Avenue last month. Johnson is currently on probation for a prior robbery conviction. A man dead after a collision involving an ambulance. Today we are working to find out what caused it. It happened last night on Route 63 in the town of Bethany in Genesee County. Police have identified the victim as 61-year-old Syed Rahman of Williamsville. According to police, there were no patients in the ambulance. However, two of the three workers in it were hospitalized. Lollipop Farm is closed today due to the holiday, but over the weekend, it was shut down for deep cleaning. Have you heard about this? Lollipop says several kittens taken in at the shelter had feline distemper. That's an extremely contagious, uh, and it can be de uh, deadly. This affected the Fairport location and adoption center in Greece on Saturday. Now to our Bills report. What a game. A fourth quarter comeback at home in Orchard Park for rookie quarterback Josh Allen to beat the Titans 13-12. The Bills trail 12-10, and all Allen had to do was get the ball close enough for field goal range. Then Stephen Hauschka delivered with the game-winning field goal in the waning seconds. A win is a win, and the Bills will take it. Well, happening today, a Columbus Day cleanup event. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office, along with jail inmates, will help the Little Italy Neighborhood Association clean up the Lyle Avenue corridor. It starts at 8. The cleanup will stretch from Broad Street to State Street. Parks in the Edgerton neighborhood will also be parts of the effort. A ribbon cutting will take place this morning at the New Texas Roadhouse in Greece. We first told you about the development uh, last year. The restaurant is located on West Ridge Road near the old Kmart in the Ridgemont Plaza. The ribbon cutting is at 3 o'clock. All right, parents, we know your child's car seat can be really tricky. That's why we're putting your family first to make sure you're installing those car seats correctly. Police will be here doing demonstrations, taking your phone calls. Car seat check is tonight from 5 to 6.30 right here on News 8. And a lot of you watching right now have off today for Columbus Day, and you're wondering, what's the weather going to be like? Josh Nichols joining us now with a look at the forecast. Yeah, we have some much warmer weather to talk about, especially as we head through the next uh, few days. To get into that warm air mass, we have to get through a little bit of fog this morning. You can see sort of a uh, murky uh, view here of our fair flower city as we look at Rochester from Pinnacle Hill. A low overcast in place. The visibility is down a bit here, but it's down much more uh, to the south of Town. In fact, uh, dense fog advisories are in effect for Livingston and Wyoming counties uh, through 10 o'clock this morning. Then we'll have a couple of rogue showers, mainly uh, west of Rochester right now, but those should fizzle. And again, the stage should be set for developing sunshine into this afternoon and temperatures back into the upper 70s. A little taste of summer this afternoon. And then tomorrow. Even warmer. Even warmer. Yeah. I want it fall like please. Josh, please. <laughs> you do? Just color on the trees. I want to That's feel like want. fall. Mm -hmm. Well, a little bit of summer right now, and then much cooler weather develops for the end of the week. Yeah, you know, for those of you who don't know, John is out a lot capturing beautiful images for you to see, right? I try. I try to do images, video, Facebook Live on the News 8 page. We had a good one yesterday sure. from Letchworth State Park. They had so much rain Saturday night. 
into Sunday that it rose that river there about three inches. And I mm. think we're trying to get the video. There, there it is. is. I captured this yesterday morning at 7.30 in the morning. Look at the raging falls, the middle falls. It climbed three feet from the mm. previous day. And that's what can happen when you get rain, especially south of here, mm -hmm. and those streams funneling into the river. You have a tough job. I love it. Hey, thank you so much for watching News 8. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.